It has been four months since Sheikh Mashaba was sacked as national coach. The 66-year-old's third tenure was full of controversy, but as former South Africa and Borussia Dortmund winger Delron Buckley says, Mashaba didn't move with the times and had contributed to his demise. Sheikh has been a national coach for, for many times. Wind came back, wind came back. And I think it's time to give someone else a chance. Because if you see the stats, I mean, has he won anything with the national team? Not really. So I think it's time to give someone else a chance to prove himself. Speculation is rife that Supersports United coach Stuart Baxter is set to return as national coach, while other names have also been mentioned. But for Buckley, it is vital to get the right man for the job, who has tried and tested at international level. I've heard uh, Carlos Curris is in the run, and uh, I worked with him. I played, I think, 40 games under him, which we won 36 in a row, which was very good. He's, he's a quality coach, and there's also other several coaches. But at the end of the day, um, it's, it's, it's nice to have a coach from Europe. The man who has 73 international appearances under his belt hopes to get his UEFA A coaching license in September and feels that more highly qualified coaches are needed to take football forward in South Africa. Yeah, in South Africa, the mo most of the coaches have CAF Cs and CAF Ds, which it shouldn't be like that. You know, if you want the best, you need to have a coach, even if you coach on the 8th or coach on the 12th, you need to have a probably CAF A or UEFA B. It is a massive year for the South African senior national football team. AFCON and World Cup qualifiers feature prominently in a demanding 2017 fixture list. And with so much at stake, the new man in charge of Bafana Bafana, whoever that may be, will be under pressure to deliver results immediately and ensure that qualifying for major football tournaments becomes the norm and not the exception. CS Duplessis, CGTN, Durban.